Yo, what is going on guys? It is currently day number two of the brand new Black Widow Red by Dawn event and that means we have our next special mission so we can open up our first rift. So I haven't, I don't know, I think I heard it was Sunspot. Um, Suave Millionaire, yeah, that's definitely Sunspot. Defeat target in a quest, arena, incursion, or duel. Blessing Black Widow Red by Dawn, chapter one, quest one. Uh, okay, so let's jump in here, quest one. Uh, let's see, his team should do. Uh, so we just gotta beat him, and then we'll get the key card, and then we can go get our intel. Where's Sunspot? Oh, he's right there. Okay, perfect. Drink some McDonald's uh, Coke. All right, and let's just ghost this fool. What's he got? Brute force. All right, that's no problem. And then I think we have to use two stars to get the intel to acquire the intel. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we can go open up our very first rift. And I, 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 you know, a lot of people ask me on the stream if I'm gonna save up the three thousand, and I'll talk about that when I when I buy it a bit more. But for me personally, I don't think that I'm going to. Um, but I think it definitely can be a good idea. What the heck? I just got a key card, didn't I? What? Wait, what? Let's go back. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, a little glitchy, but that's fine. All right, let's jump in here with the two-star squad. Definitely want my boy Colossus thing. That's good, that's good. And let's get Stark Spidey. Blade, sure, why not? It, all right, cost the key card to enter the room. And then we'll just go straight up the middle path. It's the fastest by the looks of it. And I think this first guy has Electro's animations. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, all right, good old blade, man. It's weird. I, yeah, I don't really use my blade too much anymore. So it feels good to be using a two-star again. You know, it's, it's been a while. Good old blade, man. He's still a beast. Drop some L ones. Those deep wound suicides. That's the combo right there. <coughs> So I've been running for uh, Weapon X. All right, let's go for Stark Spidey on this next one. Same for Stark Spidey. I haven't been using this guy too much either in recent days. Uh, ooh, got hit with a got hit right there. You know, Ghost pretty much fills my uh, my old Stark Spidey needs nowadays, and uh, can rock suicides with her. And uh, can pretty much bypass 85% of the nodes in the game with her, so and do it pretty quickly. So you know, Ghost, she kind of, kind of just replaced my Stark Spidey. It's unfortunate. Sometimes that's that's the way it goes. I do use my Stealth Spidey a fair bit though. Stealth Spidey is kind of like a, an updated version of Stark Spidey, kind of. So and I do use him a fair bit. He has such good utility, man. Such good utility. Stark Spidey's still a beast. He just doesn't have much utility these days, you know? He really has the damage, and that's about it. Some auto evasion is pretty nice, but, you know, a lot of the new bosses just bypass evasion, so it doesn't even work. Like, for example, the, um, Collector in the Abyss. You know, he, you can't evade against him. So, that, that auto evasion is just kind of useless sucks same for the grandmaster can't evade so yeah i tried soloing the grandmaster with um with stark spidey and i, I it pissed me off i got him down to one percent twice with stark spidey i just screwed up in the final phase two times so close ah, on the beta man it was heartbreaking it's heartbreaking yeah never never did get the one shot with stark spidey i came close but yeah, I'm really, really sad Taskmaster didn't get uh, any kind of an update with the Black Widow movie. I was hoping, I didn't want a new one, because I have a six-star Awakened Taskmaster, but I, I would have liked to get, I don't know, I think you got like a synergy, but that's not good enough, you know. Like just some increase in his stats or something, you know. I don't know, he, he's alright, he's not as bad as people say. But it's not as good as he should be, I don't think, you know. He has so much more potential, and he's so cool. He is such a cool champion. Uh, and, like, his abilities, like, in the comics and stuff. But 
Yeah, so there we go. We got the intel required. There we go. Uh, so let's go take a look into the store. So basically how it works is I'm going to be using examples from my level, so the, the highest level. So you can buy one of these. So this takes two days of that intel you just acquired. Um, so this will open up a rift for you. Or you can get one of these for 3,000 intel. It takes a lot more. But you also get this, which basically allows you to open it says open special gates within red rifts i'm, I'm not sure exactly what that means because i haven't been in a rift yet and i don't know what it means but presumably you know it lets you choose a path with a supposed reward that you would want so for example you know you would want to get this in situations where if let's say you have a ghost or an egg on you know and you need or a dr doom you know you want a mystic gem or a tech gem or a skill gem like you want one specific awakening gem or if there's multiple classes you're really after then it would be a good idea to get this uh and then you know if once you see that awakening gem you can go ahead and get it in the rift but for me i think it's better just to go for 18 random rifts uh and whatever i get i get so that's what we're going to do today with the first ever one live right here uh so there we go epic rift Okay, we got a Red Guardian boss, and can I bring in whoever I want? Okay, <laughs> almost brought in two stars there. That would have uh, probably been pretty bad. All right, let's bring in, let's just bring in the squad right here. This is my usual questing team. It covers a lot of areas. Pretty much just Ghost and Omega Red with uh, their synergies respectively. So, okay, so here's, all right, so this is what this looks like. So do you get to, okay, so that makes sense. So if you buy that thing, you can go this route and then you can just choose where you want to teleport to. So, that, that, okay, that, that works as it should. You know, I was kind of worried that there's only special gates you could teleport to or something like that, but no, that's cool. That, uh, that's, that's good, that's really good. So now you guys know uh, by seeing this, how exactly that works, great. So, yeah, if you really want a specific awakening gem, I think it'd be a good idea to to, to do that, man. Because yeah, that's uh, an awakened ghost is a really big game changer, or an awakened egg on is an even bigger game changer. You know, that's your ticket through the abyss right there. Or an awakened Nick Fury, that's also a huge. Uh, just one that one sig levels all he needs. That's so huge, man. So. I think it's definitely worth it if that's the position that you're in. But uh, so this is just gonna ran randomly teleport us. And what I would like, um, there's a Mystic Awakening gem, which would be cool. But uh, um, you know, honestly, I'll take for me the number one option is probably this featured five star crystal. Number two. These thousand six star shards, number three. Well, number three is probably the awakening gem, and then number four, the uh, ten thousand five star shards there. So, any one of those would be cool. Whoops, you, know, you can't click on it. Okay, uh, let's chance it. Let's see where we go. And we're getting uh, some T5 basic. Eh, you know, that's. um. That's okay, I'll take it. Uh, I'm actually kind of low on it after all the, the six star rank ups on Weapon X uh, that drained a lot of T5B. So, you know, it's, it's, I'll take it, that's yeah, fine. Uh, yeah, that's cool. We'll get 18 of these random ones. So, you know, hopefully we'll get uh, some better stuff on the other ones, but yeah, that's fine for just one random rift. I'll take it. All right, let's drop the cell two. Let's just get through these fights. I saw a couple of screenshots screenshots on Twitter of uh, some people getting ambushed by Platinum Pool. That'd be interesting. I uh, haven't read his abilities yet. I have no idea what he's looking like. Um, but he's look, he seems cool, you know. Hopefully I can actually get uh, this version of Deadpool. You know, I don't have Red Deadpool as a four star. Don't have Gold Pool at all. Don't have Deadpool X-Force above a four star level. Which you might be saying, why do you want a Deadpool X-Force? It's for that Nick Fury synergy, you know at that high level, I don't got a Deadpool. And some, someone pr proposed a question, I, uh, I forget who it was. Um, I think it might've been B. Daniels. Uh, he said like, do you think they'll update the Nick Fury synergy uh, to include uh, Platinum Pool? 
And I don't think they will, but that'd be cool if they did. That would be cool if they did. Um, all right, let's go for some Omega Red. Mix it up a little bit. All right. And a Mystic Adaptoid. I, it's kind of a lot to gather the intel every day. I don't mind doing the, the secret mission or whatever, but then having to use the key card just to get the 250 intel, that's kind of annoying. And only using two stars. I don't know. It's kind of it's gonna get a bit old uh, having to do that every single day, but eh, whatever. It'll be worth it in the end. All these rifts, man. These rifts always will have a special place uh, in my heart because, like, uh, this was one of the first big events I was a part of the game for the the first iteration of dimensional rifts. So it's pretty cool to see them back again. Uh, so here he is. He's got like a deck of cards or something. Pretty weird. I'll have to read these another time. He's got a lot going on, but let's just bring in Ghost. I have no idea how he works. Let's, uh, I mean, we should just destroy him. Yeah. <laughs> You're dead. I don't think he had much health. Uh, that'll do. And moving on to the final fight here, we got a Red Guardian. Does he have his uncollected nodes? Let's see what we got here. No, he's got nothing. And I still remember the the first uh, rifts. Like I, I, it was the second month of me playing the game, so I was trying to do the highest level of rifts with my super low champions. I had almost like time out. Uh, like with the, they only gave you a certain amount of time, and the fights would take so long with my champs. But uh, I got through them. He's immune to unblockable. I didn't know that. Okay, well, that's good to know. <laughs> okay, let's do this the old-fashioned way then. Beta Heavy. There we go, Red Guardian down, and let's claim our T5 Basic Fragments. It'd be nice if there's some, some T5 Class Catalyst Fragments in here. Then it would actually be worth it to, to select a gate. But, uh, yeah, that's cool. And then get a two-star crystal all right well there you go there you go guys that's my first rift let me know what you guys got out of your first rift or if you're saving if, if you are going to go the route of saving i think it's smarter to save first uh instead of going for rifts first and then start saving i think it's definitely better to save first so you once you see that awakened gem you want you get it but uh yeah i'd love to hear what you guys got drop a like if you enjoy the video thank you so much for watching peace out